Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick video here um, on uh, reading uh, Daniel chapter 2. Uh, I believe it is in uh, chapter 2 and um, it basically it starts here at 31. But uh, so Nebuchadnezzar, well, first of all, let me begin in the name of God, most high, most merciful, most compassionate. Um, you see here, the king of Babylon has had a dream of a statue. And uh, this is a very interesting, uh, very interesting story. Um, he explains that... Uh, he wants his dream revealed to him, so he calls all these uh, his wise men, his uh, astrologers, his magicians, to tell him what he dreamt. And uh, he threatens them that I'm going to kill you if you do not reveal the dream I had. And of course, they tell him, King, we cannot, uh, no man is able to do what you've asked us. So Daniel steps up to the plate and he tells the king, uh, the dream he had, uh, he prayed to God, and God revealed to Daniel the dream that the king had had. And Daniel told the king, I know what you dreamt, and explains it in detail. And I'll just read briefly here. He said, uh, you looked, O king, and there before you stood a large statue, an enormous, dazzling statue, awesome in appearance. The head of the statue was made of pure gold its chest and arms of silver, its belly and thighs of bronze, its legs of iron, its feet partially of iron and partially of baked clay. Uh, while you were watching, a rock was cut out, but not by human hands. It struck the statue on its feet of iron and clay and smashed them. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver, the gold were broken to pieces at the same time and became like chaff on the threshing floor in the summer, and the wind swept them away without leaving a trace. But the rock that struck the statue became a huge mountain and filled the whole earth. So this is what I think. Now Daniel tells the king um, the interpretation of this. Uh, dream as in uh, the kingdoms and that's that's correct that's what that's what um, the Lord had had explained to him but like I say these uh, these stories in here are um, like a multiplex they're multifaceted there are levels of information and this statue that the, that the king was dreaming of was a man so this I think is wisdom that the man represents the ages of man that uh, scripture tells us that god had created previous civilizations who were much wiser and mightier than this current age of humanity or men or whatever you want to call us uh, human beings this current age of uh mankind so you see here 32 the head was gold so this is the first age of man uh the head is uh, like the is well the story says that man was descended uh, was kicked out of heaven so he was kicked out of the garden so this was a place of uh in heaven the head heaven um and Man was still very young, but he was uh, pure. He was um, perfect, as in uh, if you study the alchemical properties of metals, um, gold is like the best. Like they strive for the uh, alchemical gold of uh, purification, of uh, perfection. So when man was first created, he was perfect. Uh, but then through time... Um, he becomes, he be, starts to become, um, uh, compromised. I see here he's kind of degenerated. The next age of man is silver. Um, <clears throat> so 
You see, uh, these are still very pure metals. Um, anyone who's studied, studied uh, the colloidal um, liquids of gold and silver, uh, you see that these these metals are used for uh, purifying and healing the body. So this is still a state of purity. This is like uh, in the heart area. So it's still, man, man's still in a good place. Uh, but then he begins to fall even further, like the ages of men. And who knows the time period uh, that's, that's going on here that's being explained in this short uh, story but you see the next age of man is bronze and um well bronze is toxic uh, bronze um is actually linked with uh, like degeneration in the body so it's clearly showing us that like not only is it uh, like he's in the belly and the thighs so these are like the lower like uh the animal <laughs> kingdom of uh you know your uh your lower regions here, um, the bronze is he's degenerated. I mean, he goes on even further. The legs, you have two legs. Man's divided now. Legs, walking. He's like man's roaming the earth with heavy legs. Uh, these are again. This is an age of man that's wandering the earth, like uh, very heavy <laughs> periods of time. Um, and here we go. Supposedly, this is like the last ages here, where the iron and partially baked clay. So here we have. Uh, well, it's not even metals anymore. It's, it's just metals being like inorganic. It's like a baked clay of uh, organic. Um, and then a rock was cut out, but not by human hands. So this is what I think would be very possibly um Jesus Christ or um, um Yahshua HaMashiach if you prefer or whom uh, the the uh, Muslims call Isa um uh, the prophet who was taken to heaven um we're not going to really get into the doctrine to study but everyone agrees that this man came and God took him um but he wasn't taken by human hands because God took him himself. And, uh, well, the next thing I say here says he uh, smashes everything. And this this rock um, becomes a mountain and fills the whole earth. So, when um, Joshua returns, he's going to set up a kingdom. It says in... In those times of these kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that will never be destroyed, nor will it be left to another people. It will be crushed, all those kingdoms, and um, bring them to an end. But it will itself endure forever. So uh, this is my interpretation of uh, the ages of man from who knows from, from the beginning to uh, uh, the promise of uh, when uh, Yahshua returns uh, to set up the, the, the kingdom of heaven on earth, huh? What do you think? What are your thoughts on this? I'd like to hear anyone's uh, thoughts or interpretations on uh, Daniel chapter 2, uh, basically 31 through... Uh, 45. So, talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.